Now to a bizarre story from Gidunguri, Kiambu County, where a 22-year-old woman has confessed how she planned and executed the murder of her 72-year-old grandmother in August last year. Detectives have since obtained the confession from Mercy Wangare, detailing her motive for killing her grandmother. Wangare's father, Patrick Gitimo, is also being held for allegedly taking responsibility for the crime in a bid to protect his daughter. I want justice for my grandmother because it's not fair what happened to her, honestly. Masi Wangari, aged 22 years old, is now being treated as a main suspect in the murder of her 72-year-old grandmother. Details are now emerging that the 22-year-old university student confessed to detectives about committing the murder in August last year. In a lengthy written statement which detectives are treating as a confession, Wangari says her grandmother had been extremely nice and caring to her and her family years ago. Wangari also indicates that she comes from a family of five, two parents and two siblings, all boys. It was bad. Mm -hmm. In her confession, she says that her grandmother began a love and hate relationship recently with her family when her dad lost his job. Following the loss of job, the father could no longer provide for his family and had to rely on the grandmother. Wangari says the grandmother was kind enough to pay her fees and even provide for them. But according to Wangari, the grandmother will tell other relatives and even villagers about Wangari's family's struggles. This in turn angered Wangari and her family, and soon a rift emerged. Because she, there's a time, there's a time she say, she asked my mother, is mm -hmm. this really my son? Yeah. Wangari says that her grandmother also began treating her differently because she thought her university education was changing her lifestyle. In a section of her alleged confession, Wangari says when visitors came home, her grandmother would only recognize her siblings and not her. Now, because obviously people are saying, people are saying it's him. Wangari says last August she became infuriated because she had had enough. On the day of the murder, Wangari was summoned by her grandmother. As usual, their discussions started well. But before long, she says, they started arguing. A fight soon ensued. Wangari says she and her grandmother fought for a while before she grabbed a metal bar and struck her on the head. She died instantly. Photographs of the old woman show deep cuts on her head. No, you say, is it the one you used? Yes. Thank you. Mother, I'm a confirmed you yield to me. The family opted to bury the grandmother weeks after police failed to make any arrests. Wangari says she concealed the murder weapons and clothes by throwing them in a pit latrine, which detectives never bothered to inspect at the time. Five months later, Wangari says in her alleged confession that she could no longer live with her guilt and decided to share the news with her father. And in an interesting twist of events, when Wangari wanted to report herself to the police, her father, Patrick Getimo, opted to save her child by turning himself in, saying that he was the one who killed his mother. Mm. Two days ago, police officers took the two to the scene of the incident, where the murder weapon was retrieved, as well as clothes and shoes. A lot of the evidence had rotten away in the pit latrine. Wangari has also disclosed that she even cut her fingernails and those of her grandmother in a bid to conceal DNA evidence. Regardless of Wangari's confession, police are still holding Gitimo in custody because of his decision to take responsibility for the murder. Detectives say the two will be processed in court, but Gitimo's case will be looked into by the DPP's office in order to ascertain whether he should be released or charged for claiming to have committed a crime he did not. The two are being held at the Gidunguri police station, awaiting completion of investigations in the next 12 days. Nimrod Tabu, Citizen TV.